Good evening and welcome to the May edition of the Business Forum. We are here in the beautiful building of the Niceville Chamber of Commerce. Before we get rocking and rolling today, we want to have a special shout out to Niceville High School, our school of the month. So make sure if you know any of the teachers or staff that are at Niceville, you give them a pat on the back and tell them what a great job they're doing teaching our youngins. And, uh, you know, that's our future, so God bless them all. That's a great deal. First up, we have Sean Lamprin, and she is from Twin Cities Hospital. She is the Chief Nursing Officer. Welcome, Sean. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing I'm this doing morning? Fine. You didn't get to travel very far, did <laughs> <Nope>. you? <laughs> Just Five really. minutes, so that's good. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about all the services you provide at Twin okay. Cities Hospital. Um, at Twin Cities, we're a 65-bed licensed hospital. Um, we provide surgical services in general surgery, orthopedics, urology. Um, we've just started doing cataract surgery. Dr. Reddick is new to the area, mm -hmm. and he's now doing cataracts every other Friday at the hospital. So sure. that's a new service for us. Um, it's been very successful so far. Um, he's done two two weeks of it. Sure. So um, it's been an excellent addition to our, our hospital. Um, we also, of course, provide inpatient services for all medical surgical conditions. We have outpatient mammography, bone and symmetry for women's health. We have diabetes education and um, education out in our wellness center for H2U. For so if you have any, any questions about any of those things, it'd be a great place to go. H2U, you threw out there like we all knew what that was. Yeah, but I know what it is, what it but is, tell everybody but else H what it is. H2U is a um, program that we offer to the community. Um, it's you, you pay an annual fee, mm -hmm. and we offer a lot of programs. We do lunch and learns. The physicians in the areas come and, and you know talk about diseases and health promotion. Um, they have bingo and bunco games. So it's just a good community service uh, where people can get out and mingle and socialize. And learn a little bit and more about their bodies yes. and what's going mm -hmm. on. That's fantastic. Yep. You have a couple other firsts. Uh, you were the first hospital in area to um, offer certified joint replacement and certified spine surgery program. Mm -hmm. What in the world is that? What that is all about is is all hospitals typically get commissioned, um, accredited by the Joint Commission, which okay. is a national organization that go in and they look at the services that we provide. There's um, standards that we have to abide by, and we get surveyed every three years just as an inpatient. Um, but they now offer disease-specific, so it kind of puts you at the top um, of of the league when you're when you're doing these programs they come in and do a special survey for the joints and the spines um, there's indicators that we have to um, meet uh, where it's quality indicators patient satisfaction so they're looking at the in. body of work to make sure that mm -hmm. you're doing things the way you're supposed exactly. to exactly um, tell us about joint venture I understand that's your right joint your venture is is our program that we offer for our patients that are coming in for for joint and spine surgery we have um, two classes a month and the patients come in and they meet with the nurses and go over what they can expect from the time they enter the hospital mm -hmm. through the whole operative procedure, what they need to do for physical therapy, um, what they need to do for discharge planning, because our goal is to get patients out just as quickly as we can, and hopefully that they go home and not have to go to a uh, rehab unit, but some patients need that rehab. Um, one of our physicians, or two of our physicians actually now, are doing an anterior approach um, for hips. So the recovery time is patients are up and walking the afternoon that they have their surgery. Wow, um, instead that's of, amazing. Yeah, instead of cutting through that lateral muscle, they do an anterior, so there's not all that muscle involvement. So they get up and get going pretty quickly. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And of course, the faster they get up, the less atrophy and the sooner, mm -hmm. right. shorter the recovery time, right? Exactly. Now, you guys are always uh, top notch and always uh, number one in patient patient satisfaction surveys. Mm -hmm. How how do you manage all that? Well, what we do, our culture at Twin Cities, because we're a small hospital, mm -hmm. um, we still have all that, you know, small environment, family feel. Um, so we just really promote um, patients come first. If there's issues, we have <clears throat> an ability for them to call the operator. They can talk to me directly if there's having issues, if their care isn't where it wants to be. Um, we, we do extensive hiring practice so that we get the best of the best mm -hmm. um, to ensure that our patients are getting the care that they need in the, in the caring manner that they want. Um, and the proof's in the pudding. You're getting the scores. Yes, so we are. We evidently, are it works. It. Mm -hmm. it works well. Right, yeah. You know, I, I met a gentleman the other day, and he, uh, he said he was going to be working over at Twin Cities Hospitals for a while. And he was a construction worker. Mm -hmm. I guess there's some renovations going there on. There is, and we're very excited about it. Um, we, as, as most people know, or some people know, uh, the hospital was built in 1980. So our intensive care unit was built in 1980. And so it's very 
1980 style. Um, we have open bays and we have four private rooms. With our renovation, it's a $6.5 million renovation um, that's going to extend the ICU out. It'll be a total of 5,000 square feet. Wow. So we'll still be at eight beds, um, but it'll be all private rooms and each room will have a bathroom. Um, and it's going to be state-of-the-art equipment, technology, just a total upgrade of our ICU. So we are really, really excited about That's, it. That is we fantastic. We are really excited about it. You know, uh, Twin Cities Hospital's footprints are all over our community, so it's not unusual that we've got the fifth annual Community Health and Fitness Fair coming up in May. Mm -hmm. um, share with the viewers, what, what is that about? Um, what that is, is is going to be May 25th, and it's going to be at the Community Center from 9 to 12. And it has got um, 40 vendors, and it's just um, free blood pressure screenings, um, BMI, just health information, the um, rehab units and skilled nursing area homes will be here to, to, to talk to people about what's going on with them, to help them with um, living wills and all that kind of stuff just to promote um, the wellness and fitness and long-term planning for everybody. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So if you got some issues you want checked out or if you just want to find out what's going on in the health world, that's right. Good, It'll good be a place good place to, to, be. to be, be. You just wrapped up the Women on Wellness Symposium, and I understand that was a fantastic success. Yes. Every year that keeps growing and growing. We had over 150 attendees this year, so um, and we held it at the community center. So it was a huge success, and again, it focuses on women's health issues and wellness and a better life balance, life work balance. Um, a lot of the physicians in the community participate. They, they come in and they do guest speaking, so mm -hmm. they have that interaction where they can have great um, question and answer sessions with the physicians in the area. Sure. So. It, you know, there's just so much going on at mm -hmm. Twin Cities, and one of the things I love about your hospital is it's so proactive and so out in the community. It's not, you know, often its own little corner. It, you share your information you help us stay healthier which uh, ultimately will probably make your job a little easier in the long run we would hope right that's right because <laughs> i always say it's no good to live in paradise if you can't enjoy that's paradise correct. You, that's you know correct. It's, it's not good if you're staring out through the window at it so that's fantastic right. sean thank you very much for coming on the show and telling us about all these great things if folks wanted to get in touch with twin cities hospital to either volunteer or or just get some more information about mm -hmm. your hospital how would they do that well all they need to do is call the main number is 678-4131 um, and somebody answers the phone and you get a live person. We do not use voicemail. God bless um, you. <laughs> so it's not where you have to push any buttons. You just call and, and we can direct you to where you want to go. And you're always in need of good volunteers, aren't yes, you? Yes, we are. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for all that your hospital is doing for our community. It's part of the reason we have a wonderful community is because we have a caring hospital involved. And uh, we look forward to the uh, health and fitness fair. It sounds like a great yep, event. It's going to be a great event. Amen. Yep. Don't go away. Next up, we have Paige Floyd Hart, uh, owner of Bright Light Land and Title Company, and she's going to tell us all about a candidate fair that's coming up, so you're going to want to stay tuned to hear about that.